just saved our near map image here, and I think it's time to sketch out the lines of the roof. Take a look. Sounds good, Katrina. So um, I like to zoom in quite a ways here on this mobile device. Uh, and then when I'm ready to start drawing my first line, I can go ahead and tap on the draw button here. Uh, and there's a few things you might want to look at. So first of all, I've covered up some of the roof with this, with the reference images, um, little window slider that's popped out here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do want to show you if I tap on that gray bar, I can actually move that window in and out. Nice. Uh, now next, um, when I put my finger on the screen, you see that cursor? Well, it's on the left side of my finger. Right. Well, if you're left-handed, maybe you want that cursor to go to the other side mm -hmm. to make it a little easier. So let's tap on the settings here. You do have the ability to change your cursor settings with the horizontal offset, which I have at just about a half an inch off uh, to the left. Mm -hmm. And then a vertical offset. So I have it at zero, so it's exactly level with my finger. But if you wanted it up or down, you could do that as well. Great. This cursor, uh, hold cursor over point for 0.7 seconds to pick up, well, that's going to have to do with moving lines. So when I get to that point where I'm repositioning lines, we can talk about that a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on this Done button. I don't want to make any changes for my settings right now. And I want to put my finger on the screen. Uh, let's come over here. We've got two icons in the left corner. Now, the first one at the top is 90 mode. So let's go ahead and turn 90 mode on. And we know it's on when it's green. Then let's bring the cursor to this outside corner where these two eave edges come together. And I tapped on the screen with my other finger. I didn't pick up my drawing finger at all. And as I draw out this line, it's going to show me how long that line is. And whenever I'm close to horizontal, see how it kind of just snaps right to horizontal? Yeah. That's 90 mode, keeping my line straight, unless I try to go diagonally. Gotcha. So as long as I'm very close to horizontal, it's going to make it perfectly horizontal. When I get to the end of that line, where it meets that uh, other connecting eave, I tap on the screen again, and that sets that line and allows me to start drawing another line right away. Perfect. All right, so let's bring this one all the way down to the bottom here. And when I get to the bottom there, I tap on the screen again. And I can just continue to daisy chain and connect one line after another. So I'll come up that hip to that ridge. And then I'll come up that ridge right to right where that valley and hip kind of come together. And then I'll come up that hip to the top ridge. And then I'm going to come all the way down here to this outside corner, down this hip. Now, do you notice when I come to the intersection of these two eaves that that cursor gets bigger, turns into like a bigger red circle? That lets me know that I've connected that outside corner. Last but not least, I have nowhere to go with this next line. Mm -hmm. So in order to start a new line, I'll just pick my finger up and that line disappears. Great. So I think from here, I'd like to come back to the ridge. So if I put my cursor on that ridge, you see that the circle gets big and red, and I tap on the screen, and that starts a line right from that point. Great. Bring that over to the end of the ridge, tap on the screen again, come down here to the eaves, tap on the screen, come across this left eave, and it snapped automatically. It lined me up with this point over here. 90 mode also not keeps us, not just keeps us vertical and horizontal, mm -hmm. but also um, stops us when we're right in line with other points of the roof. Gotcha. It makes it really easy to balance the lengths of rakes and eaves and things like that. So we'll just continue to draw out the lines of this roof. Now in this case, it wants to snap to a point that's not quite in line with the ridge I'm trying to draw to. Mm -hmm. So here's where I'm going to just pick up my finger for a second, and I'm going to change the size of my cursor. I'm going to make it much smaller. Okay. This is going to change how strong that attraction is to other points. So now you see I can get right in line with that ridge. It's not trying to connect because that cursor is much, much smaller, and that cursor represents how much magnetic attraction there is for other points and other lines. Gotcha. For these last uh, couple lines that come up to this ridge, I do want to zoom in. So switch to pan and zoom mode, then switch back to draw mode. Can bring this up right where, oh, there we go, right where the valley meets the ridge and the hip, and then draw that last little hip line there. All right, so Katrina, from here, we'll go back to pan and zoom, and we'll zoom back out so we can see the entire roof. All right. And then we'll just finish up these last few lines here. So we have the valley down to this inside area here. 
And as you recall, as you may recall, I typically like to draw to roughly the center of the gutters for accuracy there. Uh, so I'll come across this little section of gutter here and I want to stop right in line with that other gutter. So I'm always looking at those cursor tails to make sure I'm in line with those other points. Mm. Then I'll come up that valley, lift my finger, come back down to this hip. And I'll tap on to start the line right from that point. Come down here and 90 mode lines me up perfectly with the bottom of that valley. And then of course 90 mode also lined me up perfectly with that outside corner. Wonderful. So as you can see, we have all of the lines drawn. Now the drawing's not done yet, but in the next video, we'll show you how to label up all of your lines and how to put in your pitch values. Mm -hmm.